Good morning, Pointers. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, and it is an A-Day. My name is Lily. And I'm Liv. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At Sparrows Point Middle School, we have pride when we practice safe behaviors, respect ourselves and others, interact with empathy and inclusivity, demonstrate responsible citizenship, and exercise high academic standards. Now, club in time with the weather. Hello, Sparrows Point. I just ate a whole burrito and have no regrets. Okay, my job time. Today, it's going to be a high of 45, a low of 28, starting at 9 a.m. Sun's going to poke its head out. And then it's going to get cloudy again. Can, we're just not going to see the sun today. And frosty. Bye. Here is this week's lunch menu. Now Lucas with the National Day. Good morning, Pointers. Today is National Heritage Treasures Day, National Arkansas Day, National Step in a Puddle and Splash Your Friends Day, and National Milk Day. Have a fabulous day, Point. Wear blue on Thursday to celebrate Team BCPS. Last week, the Green Club collected trash around the school. The students picked up six pounds and eight ounces. We then sorted to see what we could recycle instead of throwing into the trash, and there will be no Green Club on Thursday, January 12th. Our next meeting will be January after school until 4, January 19th after school until 4 p.m. Can you help with our environment at Sparrows Point? Stay and join our club with Ms. McQuaid in room 205. Creating Crafting Club is today to make friendship bracelets. Come join in Ms. McQuaid's room 205 after school until 4 p.m. Now over to Ms. Ryan. Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. This is Ms. Ryan, your athletic advisor here today. Uh, before our uh, newscaster, our sportscaster, Mr. Nieder, gets on to talk about yesterday's basketball games, I do want to talk about attendance at our basketball games. Tomorrow, um, there is a home basketball game. However, that game is being played in the middle school gym. So sadly, students, um, you will not be able to attend that game due to limited space. Okay, so the tickets are reserved for parents and family of team members and we're asking team members only to bring two people from your family so we can fit everyone in the gym the next home basketball game after tomorrow is thursday january 26th and this will be the last game that we have in the high school gym so students if you would like to come out and check out our basketball team put january 26th at five o'clock and six o'clock on your calendars now the baltimore county public school policy, athletic policy for middle school students is that middle school students may only attend athletic events with a parent, okay, with a parent. So you do need to purchase tickets on Ticket Spicket. Um, so I would start talking to your parents now, January 26th, 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. See if you can get your parent to bring you out to the game to support your pointers. Thank you. After school tutoring is available every Tuesday and Thursday in Ms. George's room, 227 from 3 to 4 p.m. A snack will be provided. Make sure you have a ride home. Please look at your updates on school to make sure to respond to the survey for Celebration of Champions. Each grade level has their own link to access and sign up for all your activities. Do you want to participate in the Minute to Win It games at Celebrations of Champions? You can enter the raffle by putting your paws, first and last name included, into the brown bags in the cafeteria. Each grade has their own brown bag, so make sure to enter for your chance to win one of the awesome prizes and compete against your classmates. Attention educators rising. Our next meeting is January 26th. Student council will hold its next meeting today after school in Mr. Wise's room. Intramurals are back. Intramurals will be in the gym on Thursday, January 19th with Miss Antonelli. We will be back. We'll back up with intramurals on every Tuesday and Thursday when the basketball seasons are over. What are you reading Wednesday? What are you reading Wednesday? You should try The Genius Under the Table by Eugene Yelchin. Drama, 
family secrets and a KGB spy in his own kitchen. How will Yevgeny ever fulfill his parents' dream that he become a national hero when he doesn't even have his own room? He's not a star athlete or a legendary ballet dancer. In their tiny apartment he shares with his Barishnikov obsessed mother, poetry loving father, continually outraged grandmother, and safely talented brother, all Yevgeny has is his little pencil, the underside of a massive table, and the doodles that could change everything. Just With give us the part. Charm and solemnity, artist Eugene Yelchin recounts in hilarious detail his childhood in Cold War Russia as a young boy desperate to understand his place in his family. If you want to find out what happens to Yevgeny, check the book out from our library today. Now Tommy with the sports report. Yesterday against uh, Hollabird in the high school gym, the girls basketball team won 35 to 3 and the boys team lost 33 to 29. However, the top shooter for the boys basketball team was Evan with a total of 14 points. The word of the day is despondent, which means extremely depressed. The cook became despondent when the wedding cake exploded 15 minutes before the reception. reception. <laughs> what video game do they play in igloos? Slow Fortnite. Have a great day, point.